Hello everybody and welcome on back. We're here over at Bergenworth and there will be more flymen that we need to look out for. Um, we can also summon in Madara's twin to help us in this area. Actually, we might as well just do that. I think it's because we still have that oath rune or the memory rune. We might as well get some help from him over here. Let's see if we can get a plunge. We can. If these guys grab you, they will be inflicting frenzy. So just be ready for that. There should be another one wandering about down here. There he is. Really? Yes, come here, confederate. Assist me. That is going to be a gate that we will be able to open up in just a little bit. Gonna be going up here. Be ready for another flyman. That is the grab attack. Holy crap, he hurts with his axe. Damn. Up here, there's gonna be an alien dude. Or a, a brain sucker who wants to, well, suck our brains out. Poke him down. Don't give him much of a chance. I'm over here for Arcane Lake. Gives us Arcane um, resistance. Uh, this door we cannot open. We will be going in there from the other side. And if we just go over here, we should have Flyman dropping down. Yeah, there they are. Get their attention. Let them come up. Holy crap, Madara! Madara's twin. Rather. That was a lot of freaking damage. You do more damage than I do, man. Dispose of them. That's gonna be a giant centipede. They are not as deadly as they look. They are really just quite some chumps. But what you want to do is just let them use their spells. Walk around them. Charge a couple of heavies. Am I stuck? They don't really do a lot besides breathing that, like, tossing that fireball out on you. Great one's wisdom. Use that and you get a bit more insight. Should be another flyman over there. Dispose of him. Get more sedatives. And first of all, we're gonna be opening up the gate. Fresh little shortcut, and we will go in here. And pop on the lantern. In here, there's gonna be a white church hunter that we want to deal with. She's gonna be using a lot of arcane stuff, for example, the auger. Get pearl slug from there. Very nice, right? Can open this door if you want to. Get some nice air in here, right? But since I have Madara's twin, I'm just gonna be... We're just gonna be ganging up on her. Really? Didn't think she could reach me. Can't just let him get her attention. Circle behind. Go for viscerals if you can. If not, just... Freaking whack her down with the help of the Confederates. Nothing stands against the League. That must be known. Oh, Madara's twin getting a parry. Dispose of her. Or oh, she's actually maybe carrying the choir gear. Get some more blue elixirs. Here we can summon another guy to help us. The spider hides all manner of rituals, certain to reveal nothing. For true enlightenment need not be shared. Um, having a summon in, we're naturally going to be increasing the boss's HP. So I would not recommend, rec I would not recommend summoning in Henrik as well. If we do die for some reason uh, versus Rom, then uh, I will not be going with Madara as usual. It's just nice to have him around, you know, to clear out the area. Open this. No, we can't open this. We need the key, which we will get upstairs. 
When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred, and when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with a child. That is what's gonna happen when we deal with Rom. We got some more student attire here, as uh, we picked them up in the lecture building. It says that it is very similar to the ones of Bergenworth. Here we get the Lunarium Key, which we used to open the door, but we will be going up first. There should be a flyman upstairs. What are you doing here? Okay. Toss him down. Open the chest, that is what we came for. The empty phantasm shell. Which gives us a neat upgrade, I mean, uh, arcane buff. Whenever we use it at the cost of bullets. Or is it arcane? I think so. Let's read up on it anyway. Need 15 arcane for this. Empty invertible shell that is said to be a familiar of a great one. The healing church has discovered a great variety of invertebra invertebrates, or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. So yeah. That is what happens. Bit of drop down. Should have just taken the ladder so I didn't have to heal. Whatever. Now we can open this door. And here's gonna be Master Willem. And he's pointing over there. He's just gonna be moaning a lot and pointing, pointing this direction. So if you come here and you're a bit confused as to like what, are, what it is you're actually gonna do. You aim towards the moon, and you drop down here. That is when we enter a boss fight. But Willem has already served his purpose, so we're gonna kill him. Doing so, nets us the eye rune. Uh, I can maybe just take a quick look at that. A secret symbol left by Carol, runesmith of Bergenworth. A transcription of eye spoken by left behind great ones allows one to make additional discoveries. Eyes symbolize the truth Master Willem sought in his research. Disillusioned by the limits of human intellect, Master Willem looked to beings from higher planes for guidance and sought to line his brain with eyes in order to alleviate his thoughts. Using this gives us a higher chance of getting, uh, getting items from killing enemies. But anyways, we're gonna take the plunge. To the Moonside Lake, and over here is Rom. To me, he looks more like a snail than a spider. I think his name is a spider. Bolt Paper is gonna be really nice. We're just going up to him and charging some heavies. He's gonna activate the boss fight. And then a lot of these other spiders will be coming down. These guys have a, like a shield where their faces are. They can drop a, um, like, insight if you kill them. Madman's Knowledge is what they're actually called. They do like grouping up on you. For example, if you hit them from a front, you see, it doesn't deal a lot of damage. But if you hit them at the side or behind, it is very easy to take them down. You don't have to kill all of them. You can sort of just rush from down. But it is a bit easier to just take your time, kill the spooders, get Madman's knowledge, if you want to grind some. And then just keep hitting Rom whenever you can, and as you see, he still he also has a shield on his face, so you want to be going around him. And he's going to be teleporting around. And later on in this fight, he's going to be tossing a lot of arcane bells at us. can still hit him a little bit more when he does teleport. Then you just want to look around. You can see where the spiders are. That means that Rom is going to be around there also. There he is. So he's going to be calling down meteors from the sky. And he's going to be causing pulses of the water to sort of uh, like damage us. When he does that. That's the meteor rain. 
Okay, he's going for Madara. You can outrun it, and you can just spam roll to get out of it. We're gonna be buffing up with some bolt paper. And that's the crash down. That's like his only... Like he does roll around a little bit like this, and then there will be like some up for. Okay, Madara is down. Just try to get as much damage as we can on Rom. He does wobble around a bit like that. That's like his melee attack. Yeah. Got hit by that. Bad. It is quite easy to get overwhelmed. Oh no. Getting hit by that a lot. By the spiders. So do watch out just a little bit. Try to go in where there are not as many spiders. Yeah, he does wiggle around a little bit. But just beat him down and all the spiders should be disappearing as well. And that is Rom. A bit of a gimmick fight, but uh, once you know what to do, you basically know what to do. And now, you might be wondering, like, okay, so we don't get teleported anywhere, what the hell is happening? Well, see that lady over there? Just rush to her. And that is Queen Yarnum. Some baby cries in the background. A ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare newborn. And now we reappear over at this like hamlet church where we got grabbed by Amygdala and got popped into the lecture building right leading us to the nightmare frontier. Now that door is opened and we can now see the disgusting and quite scary reality of what has actually happened here. So he was always visible. It was just Rom was suppressing him. And he still tries to grab you, so watch out. Does deal damage. And now we're back into Yargul, the unseen village. A lot of these baddies are gonna be popping up, and if they spray blood like that, they will respawn. So don't get too stuck on them. Dispose of them, get your echoes. Gone down. Don't think there was any loot there, no. Now, yeah, we can see there's a bunch of amygdalae everywhere. Take care of him. The frenzied cold blood in the corner. Activate the lantern. So most of these amygdalae will be for show. We cannot damage them at all. But mo some of them will be trying to, like, grab us uh, sometimes. Will be a bit annoying. But they do look creepy, don't they? They look super creepy. Uh, what we want to do is we want to drop down here. There's going to be a bunch of baddies patrolling around. There they are. Get the bloodstone chunk. Where is he? We're gonna take this path down first. That goodie is a bit of a bait. Do watch out for the sniper gunner. And a beast man. Dispose of them. And pick up the iron Yargul helm. This is gonna be a shortcut that we will be uh, activating a bit later. So don't worry too much about this. I just went down for the sweet fashion. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look super nice, but whatever. Let's rock it for now. And now we want to run down here. And there's a bunch of baddies, as you can see. I highly recommend not trying to deal with all of them. Amygdala is going to try to attack us. 
while we rush down. So just sprint, 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 roll. And we died. Well. I wanted to roll when I when I jump. Well, that happens. Happens to the best of us. But luckily we do have the lamp. Pops is back here. Those guys will be patrolling down. And now this is a bit nasty since our runes are down there. Just gonna be rushing them. No! Oh, we died again! Holy crap! Okay. I'm gonna try to hold... <laughs> the reason why you can't fight them on the bridge is because Amygdala will try to attack you as well. And he's the one dealing the most damage. And then you're just stuck between a rock and a hard place, right? Okay. Can we do it? We roll, we roll, we roll. Can dispose of this gunner, just because he's extra annoying. And now there's gonna be a new introduction to a new type of enemy in here. I call them Bell Ladies. These are the ones who keep summoning up and making these guys uh, immortal, basically. So if you dispose of the Bell Ladies, these guys are gonna become wimps, and you can just, you know, take care of them. As per usual. But now at least they won't be respawning and you don't see that like huge burst of blood when you kill them. Because that's like the... You will most likely be hearing like a bell. And that's when you know there's a, one of those bell ladies who's behind the bullshit, basically. The menses ritual must be stopped, lest we all become beasts. And that is what we want to do. We want to go into the menses nightmare. Stop that. You can now, if you want to, kill all of the baddies on the bridge. And, like, aggro them. You don't have to do this, but they are worth, like, quite a bit of echoes. But... Some food for thought there. That's what you can do. We want to go through here. Oh, yeah, there's a loot over there. Right, 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 right. We want to enter this way. I'm just thinking, can we go for the drop first? There's going to be a bunch of those crazy ladies as well that we met over at Hamwick Tarnal Lane way back when. Maybe we, yeah, let's return for that later. What you want to do is you want to head in here and there's going to be a bell lady. You hear the bell chiming? It's going to be a troll. Open the door for some iframes. Get past. And just rush the lady down. Once that is taken care of, these guys... Easy to deal with. They're like, what's happening? What happened to me? Well. You were under some control of a spooky bell lady. Can now deal with the... With a brick troll. Oh yes, that's a lot of damage. And a bunch of echoes from killing these guys. I just wanted to come back out for a air rune. We're gonna go back in. And now we can open this door. As well as this one. Get another goodie. From Frenzied Cold Blood. And now we do want to make that drop. Get bolt paper. So yeah, there's going to be a bunch of ladies. Relatively easy to get overwhelmed here, so be careful. Yeah, stop that. This is the way that we would come if we would take that door.
But as you can see, there's a bunch of blood coming out of them, which means there's a bell lady who's behind all of this trickery. And we do want to deal with her first before we do anything else. So we want to go up here. And then we want to look to our right and drop. There's going to be a bunch of ladies going for us. I like just standing here. Let them drop. You don't want to drop? Then I'm dropping. Get a goodie to the right. Go inside. And aim for the bell lady. Take her out immediately. Now for the troll with a club. Dispose of him. There's a gunner down there, but we want to get inside there first, so we want to go around. Drop. Get the upper cathedral key. If you remember way back when over at the church's workshop. Can deal with this this guy first before we deal with the gunman. I'm just uh, like sitting here, letting him creep up. And here he is. Trying to make his way, trying his best. But in vain. Get this chest. For tiny nitrous, an arcane tool. Don't think there's any more loots. No. And now we'll be looping back. But from below. Hello, Amygdala. Don't hurt me. You can look at me, but don't hurt me. And now we can kill all of these ladies. Who would be continuously respawned. We're gonna head back up. Take care of her. Get another stone chunk over there. And yeah. As you can see, Amygdala is not happy with what's going on here. He will be killing the ladies for us, if we let him. But do watch out for the eye laser. As we noticed in the boss fight, it can be quite deadly. So when he does that... Oh my god. After he does that... I like running. Just sprint down. Rush, 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 rush. And activate another precious lamp. That guy is going to be trying to run away. If you can, rush him down. Get another bloodstone chunk. Well, hello, Amygdala. What are you looking at? Don't eye me like that. That is nasty. And if we look down, things might be a bit, a bit similar, or where we have been here before. This is where the Bagmen took us, right? It's the same, the same um, unseen village. There's a loot out there. Probably just from the lady. Some cocktails, well, might as well get that. And from here, we're going to be working over to the Hunter's Dream to get some levels. So we have a bunch of echoes. Back to the Hunter's Dream we go. Welcome. Very well. Uh, get that up to 30, and now we want to get Endurance up to 25. Farewell. Farewell. You can also take a little look at some of the runes that we picked up. So the moon rune, make additional discoveries. Yeah, we can. It's easier to get drops from enemies, basically. And then we also picked up air. Visceral attacks grants more blood echoes, so that's like higher rank. The more, like the ones with more color to it, like less shade, I suppose, are the ones that are a bit stronger. So arcane is stronger than. Uh... No, wait. It's just the same rune, or the same carving, if you will. Anyways, doing all of that. 
Let's see. I think it is this one. A McDonald's chamber. No. The Yargul Chapel. I think it's that one. Yeah, there we go. Back to this lamp. If we go out here, it can be a little bit funny. We can just let that Magdala see us. And watch some ladies <laughs> get killed. Uh, it's just more funny than it is useful for farm. But anyways, activating this lamp over here. We're going to be wrapping this one up and continue to explore the Yargul, the Unseen Village. But more of that in the next one. I'll see you guys then.